Okay guys, guess where I am? Besides for in the car. Pause this video right now and guess. I'm outside the bird store. This is why I got the cutest letter, two words, from Karen Vosansky. It was a donation and it said, for Leo. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna go buy Leo some toys and purchase for his cage. And then we're gonna do a really cool cage setup video, which I like to call it their house. So this is Leo's house setup. Let's see what we can get. Do -do -do, my favorite place to go. Ooh, let's see what's happening in here today. Hello! Oh, look who's gonna be on my vlog today! <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. boyfriend's here! Today, we're gonna get more toys for Leo. Oh, yeah. yeah, how exciting. Let's see what Leo would like. Oh, I love these. These are really cool, guys, because you can always revamp them and add different things to it. First of all, I need bird food. Always need bird food. I also need a bigger fish nest for the babies to fit in. Okay, so let's go over toys for Leo. Leo doesn't really have wood toys. He has the shredding toys. I got this toy for Vinny and Picasso, and they were obsessed. So we're going to go with this see if Leo likes it. If not, we know somebody that will. So I think with Leo, we're gonna have to get him different things. Leo right now has a shredding style toy, something in the likeness of this. He doesn't have any wood on it, so perhaps that's why he's not playing with it. Maybe he's not really into toys, but I wanna make sure that I give him the opportunity to be because it's very important. So I'm gonna get him this because it's wood and it's colorful and it's attractive. What he has right now in his cage is this. When we were in the store, he pretended like that was going to be the thing. So I'll have one wood toy for him, the shredding toy. And then to shake it up a little bit, I'm going to have to see if he likes bells and bees. That's always something that they tend to like. But I know Jersey's going to be so jealous. Do you remember this toy? You guys have seen this toy time and time and again. They're obsessed with this toy. Remember them fighting over it in my holiday video? That was funny. So let's see if Leo likes these. But I can't can't just get this for Leo because Jersey and Picasso will be so upset. So here we have to get three. I know, I know. This is how you spend so much money in the bird store. I'm just looking around at all these toys. Ooh, toys, toys everywhere. I don't know. I feel like I need something else extra. I might also have to get some things for the aviary for the birdies. Here's a small, inexpensive toy that could be really good to try in the meantime. Because if he doesn't like it, Picasso and Jersey definitely will, and I can hang it in the aviary. So I'm gonna get two of these. Mm. As I pause and ponder. Do you guys hear that bird in the background? It's so cute. Oh my gosh, little babies. Oh, let's look at purchase for Leo. I like getting these things to add to the aviary and the cage. These mimic real branches. Well, they probably are real branches. They're manzanita or java. They're all different sizes. They're good for their feet because it's like a real tree. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. Some for his cage and some to add to the aviary. So I'll get some small ones and some big ones. We'll get this. Sometimes it's cool to put in the aviary little sizes that only Picasso can stand on. And that's really good because then I know he has like his safe spot. If I put this in a place where no one else is interested in standing, maybe it's really high so no one else fits because like I'm only leaving about as much space as Picasso is, that can be good too. Look at these ones with like multiple branches. But because Leo's an Amazon, we want to have like thicker sizes. But different sizes are really good so that their feet don't get stuck in that one position. Very orthopedic, you know? I can never have enough of these. It's so fun creating new spots in the aviary for them. And when Leo finally does move in there, he's going to need his own spot. So we want to make sure we have this in the cage. New toys for Leo. We got that. Wow. Lots of stuff. There was something else I'm forgetting. Oh! These cuddle bones. I always love having one of them in the cage, but if Vinny finds it, he's gonna eat the whole thing. So I have to kind of hide it from him or maybe get him one. Maybe I should get Vinny one. It's like his favorite thing. So if your bird has a habit of, I don't know, eating wall, this can be a really good solution for him. Yes. Oh, the thing for the shower. The thing with these is you can make them. 
Hi. Okay. Look at all this stuff for all the birds. Yeah, good, good. Exciting stuff, right? I think we are in business. What do you think? Birds are very expensive. Because I didn't calculate this in my head. It's going to be a surprise. Look at him clicking away. So happy. <laughs> what have we discovered? Guys, look, this is where I get all the shoes. Why are there no pink shoes? We need pink shoes. This has the back. Always make sure it has all the materials, like, see this piece right here. What the heck? I thought I was coming in here spending $50. Oh my god, it doesn't even show up. $129. $129 only. What kind of surprise did I surprise myself with? Right? How did that add up? I thought I got a bunch of little things. Oh well. The birds are hungry! Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to ban myself from coming in here for a few days. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Off to mail you guys some sniffer shirts. Thank you for buying sniffer right, shirts. See you. Bye! I'm happy to mail the sniffer shirts. They're helping keep me alive. Do you guys know how heavy this is? Well, it's going to be exciting because Leo's going to get some new stuff and some of the other birds are getting new stuff. Hopefully I didn't forget anybody, did I? I don't know, did I forget Cody? Shoot. I might have to go get another bell or something. Um, oh my god, I can't find my key anywhere. It's not in my purse. I probably really do have to go back to the bird store. Oh wait, my door's, un my door's unlocked. Oh no, if I did what I think I did, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Let's see. I left my key in the car and just shopped. Am I crazy? Like, what was I just so excited to get out? Like, I left my key in the car. Like, just left it, and, and, and that's the thing with filming. You forget what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for the rest of the day. And I'm glued to this stylus from my phone like crazy. I sleep with it. Like, oh, my stylus. Oh my god. If it's gone, I won't even press the phone anymore. That's it. That's the obnoxious sound of my car when you're not wearing a seatbelt. Sounds like five Oompa Loompas are hanging out. So we got to take care of that pretty quickly. And now I'm going to go see my sister. Yay! Hopefully I don't forget to turn my car off or anything. Guess whose car I saw outside. I got so much to carry in. Oh my god. <sighs> Hi, Sandy! Oh, you look like a, a parrot whisperer. I was massaging them both. I had both of them on me. Jersey! Although Leo was pretty jealous. He was? Yeah. How did Jersey take this? Jersey was actually very good. Jersey! You're a good bird, Genesis! Yeah! Are you a good bird? Yeah! What's going on down here? Did you hear Cody? He's like, <clears throat> yeah. Cody's excited. By the way, Jersey loves the top of the tree. Oh, wow, Jersey. Isn't that cute? She likes it up there. Oh, I got Cody all sorts of new toys. I mean, not Cody. Um, Damn, I don't remember their names. <gasps> the most handsome. Who's the most handsome guy on the block? Oh. Oh, uh, somebody thinks he's the most handsome. Oh, sit here. You're handsome? Oh, you came to say hi to mommy? You love mommy? I love you. I love you. Let's say hi to Vinny. We're playing classical music in the background for <laughs> the birds. Come here. Oh, Grumpy doesn't want to come out. Yeah, but you have to come say hi to mommy. You can't not come say hi. You have to say hi. Mommy's wearing pink just for you. Oh, tasty. Tasty. My little grumpers. My little grumpers. Oh, okay. Hey, I have to 
do something real quick. What, what do you think her old room? It's really cool. You forgot to bring up your wipe. I filmed yesterday in front of that. And look at Sandy's bed. Sandy, come here! She likes it. Look at my sniffer shirts and stuff. Look, Brett. Oh, nice. Yeah, I knew that would go there because I saw them. Isn't that cute? There's more stuff going to be, like a little bar here. I just got quickly, like, some pink towels. That's not pink. Yeah. <laughs> but do you like it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm trying to catch some birds in this bird feeder. Jersey! What are you hiding? What happened? Oh my god, he's mad at me. I don't know why. What happened? He tried to attack you? Yeah, he picked me up. And then he like, flew on my head. I gotta get him downstairs. Let's see. If, where's Jersey? Jersey, we're coming. Let's go. He said, stay right there. Look, it's Jenna. Yeah, are you mad at her? I'm a traitor. <laughs> if you try to walk down the stairs, what do you think he'll do? I'm holding him, but I don't trust it. No, you know what? The stairs are dangerous for like Vinny to attack you on, so just hide. <laughs> you did, yeah. Okay. Relax. Jenna's coming back down. Vinny's going in some timeout now. Are you going in timeout? Did you try to attack Jenna? Yeah. What did you do? Land on her head and stuff? Yeah. He's looking. He's like, you look tempting. <laughs> And he's like banging on your head and everything. Yeah, everyone says they want a Vinny, but yeah. Ah, he just left. Duck, Jenna. No, no. Yeah, do you want to go in? Do you want to go in the aviary and play with your boxes? Let's go play with your box. Okay, we'll go. All right, we'll play with your boxes now. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I can't film him going in there because then I can't hold him tight. All right, guys, so here's Leo's current cage set up. Um, I have a news jersey. These are actually Leo's toys. I got them for Leo, okay? So, um, yeah. But the good news is mommy predicted that would happen and she has some stuff hiding in here. Oh, okay. This is his toy. He had this hanging. I'm not exactly sure who pulled it down, but he honestly did not play with it at all. I added this toy. I thought he would like a lot. I always leave the tags on the toys because then the birds just like to chew them off too. So it like engages them. These toys are really good for any birds that attack your shoelaces. But Leo, I don't think he's really played with that. And I've also put his shoe, as you'll remember the shoe from the last episodes. This is what we have so far. Cage set up, water bowl. Meanwhile, you already got that in pieces. You already got a bead off. You know, this video is supposed to be about Leo. You turning that around. What? Do you have like the whole string and you left all the beads? This is why for cockatoos that like bells and beads, they need to be connected with something better than this string. But, for those of you that I've spoke to about, about putting two things together, you see how she has the bead and the leather? She loves putting two things together. That's how smart cockatoos are. Oh, her partner's here. He's investigating. He has spotted the toys. Uh-huh. Go ahead. He likes bells. So this is the cage setup. I like cages with bars on the top and I also put these 
pads on the top for easy cleaning. And I put them on the bottom here. If your bird tears these up, I've said this to you many times, then only leave it on the bottom under here. But since Leo doesn't go down here at all, I like to keep the top of the bars as clean as possible. Now this cage only had one bar. I have so far added this. You saw me buy this in the bird store. When I added this, I had to find a spot for it that wouldn't get any other spots dirty. So you'll see like if he stood here, then he would go potty down there, but not on this bar. This cage is shaped a little long, and I love this cage, but it's hard to have bars go any other way in this cage, because they're over something no matter what. So he did take to this bar right away, and he did like it. So let's see what else we can put in. Now, one thing, we have water, and then on this side, we have two bowls. I always use the two bowls. One is for the seeds and pellets. This is a seed and pellet mix. This is actually a fruit pellet mix, but what I usually use this for is fruits because I don't want to cross contaminate because any fruits that I put in a bowl, I have to completely empty. All those pellets are done with. So keep that in mind. Up here, you'll see a little bit of a mess. Today he had strawberries. I will clean that later. And you always want to keep all your fruit bowls really clean. Let's add some toys. We have this, which Cody already got at, as you can see. He was really excited about it. So now I got to get one for Cody. Let's look for a place for it. We don't want it to block where he sits or stands. And you also don't really want to put it in a spot like this because they'll chew all the wood blocks and they'll land in the food. So you have to keep these things in mind. This is why cage setup is very important. So let's put it right here. He can reach some of these. And then from down here, he can reach some of these. And then we leave a little for him to do some work, you know? Like if he wants to come up here, that gives him some activity. But you don't want to overcrowd the situation either. If I was to put all of these right here, he would have a little bit of trouble getting through. We want his tail to have a good amount of space. You always want the height here to be much larger than the bird. If we were to put it too high where he couldn't stand, you've got to be aware of those things. We also have this, which needs to be revamped. So it's a good idea to analyze the toys that you do have in there already see how they can be fixed changed or revamped always keep these pieces this toy is going to be a great leeway into this toy so these are really simple and easy to chew and if he doesn't go for these right away because he hasn't really been chewing things a lot he might definitely go for this so where can we put this? I don't want to put it on top of these bowls. Let's rearrange. It's always interesting to rearrange so the bird feels like new exciting things are happening. Let's put this toy right here because there's nothing that can drop into the bowl here. So that's kind of safe. You may notice that I added some bells from a previous toy to there. Let's take this toy and put it up in this corner. It's not taking up much space there. I left the tag on for him to chew. Hey, don't look at the price, Leo, okay? So he has a toy there. He has something exciting here. He has something totally different here. I want to warn you about bells. Do not ever put them anywhere near water where they could drop in here because they can really tarnish the water. Over here might be a good idea. It's far enough from the water. He'll have two different things to play with. But also keep in mind, you can always put toys right here and hang them. It depends on if your bird likes to play here. This is where you put foot toys and hanging things. But Leo so far has only been standing on top. So since he's only been standing on top and I'm more worried about him when he's alone or when I'm out, I wanna put this toy right here. Also, as you guys know, Leo is kind of with me all day long. So I wanna maximize all the toys inside his cage. And we still have this thing up here in case he wants to play with it. And remember the advice of the guy in the bird store, don't leave these on the leather string anyway because they'll fall. So it's better that it's sitting there like that. Also, I realized this could be wrapped around to the bar. So this is the cage set up. We also have a cuddle bone. I feel like he needs another perch actually. I have this perch. I must have got it for in the aviary. I think it's a little too small for Leo. So when I go back to the bird store, I'll get him a little something else. Picasso, are you mad that I didn't get you a new toy? Yeah? Oh. Is it okay if you share with Jersey? Okay. Do you love mommy? So we have the cuddle bone in there. 
take a good look at the cage. You don't want to overwhelm the bird with too many toys. Very often birds can get scared if there's too much in their cage, especially if they're new to the house. So when you first get a bird, probably only want to put one toy in there. So one, they'll focus on you and two, they won't get so nervous in there. You want to introduce things little by little. So let's put Leo in there. Leo looks like he couldn't care less. Oh, he's so handsome. Do you see all this new stuff? You like it up there? That's good. Is anything there interesting to you? Have you noticed anything? You scared? Do you want to come down? With too much? What's happening? What happened? Too much? Oh, he's playing with it. No. He wants to come down. Do you want me to help you come down? I can't resist helping them. Anything interesting to you? Food? Aw, oh, you wanna say hi? You want him to come say hi to you? Cause he just walked in. Okay, let's say hi. Say hi. Hey buddy. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hey. It's so cute. He wanted to say hi. I just put a whole bunch of new toys and he didn't want them. He wanted to say hi to you. Really? Oh. You want to say hi to Rocky too? Ooh. Yeah. Rocky. Yeah. What do you think, Leo? What happened to playing with your toys? You want to go see your toys? He doesn't care. He wants to see Rocky. Yeah. He's a good boy. All he wants is to go see Rocky. He knows you're Rocky's friend. Look. Hi. Aww. Hi, little Sandy. Hello. Like that? Hey, Sandy. Look how cute you are! Look how cute! Did you find the bird's toy? He's leaning over to Rocky. I know, he's like, I'm like, do you want to play with your toys? He's like, no, Rocky. Everyone wants to see if you like your toys. Bye. He's upset, he could, I could feel him. Let's see, though. Look who's liking her toys, though. I see evidence of a carrot. Did you eat a carrot, Picasso? Jersey. She saw me get one for Leo, and so she snatched it. I love you. So I got a backup. By the way, guys, Rocky has his own TV now, and he doesn't care. He still wants big screen. There is Leo with all his toys. But all he cares about right now is food. I'll try to get you guys some updates on if he likes anything. Hopefully, we'll see him playing with something. Like these two. These two are having a blast over here. See, she likes to put two things together. What does she have? She has a bead, and she has a circular bead. Yeah. You're trying to play with two things too? <laughs> Why are you dying? Can you stop with your obsession of Jenna today? Keep your... Oh God, oh God, oh God. Look <laughs> Step up, Vinny. Vinny. Vinny, why are you after Jenna all day today? Why don't we stay in here and relax for five minutes? Five minutes? No, he doesn't want to. He wants to come out and see what you're doing. I'll watch The Bachelor with you in a bit. Oh, that's what I needed to do. What? Watch The Bachelor. This is what I got you. Oh, did you see how organized this is now? Nice. Sandy section. What is that blanket? Okay, I got you this oh, for oh, Harry. That's awesome because I need to bathe him. Yeah, and then I got this for Sandy. Ooh. So you can come over and bathe her. <laughs> okay. Bathing time. This is so cute. Do you like that color? They have like green, no, but perfect. I was like, this looks like classy color. Oh my god, I'm totally going to put this nicely up in our bathroom. Like, in yeah. the section for watch Joey be like, Jenna, what's this? And we'd be like, it's Harry's towel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a microfiber, see? Stinky, stinky. I 
like it. I love it. It's really good. I probably won't be using mine. You'll probably be coming over. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a bite. Okay, not testing it out. Can you behave what? like a normal bird? This guy, I think, really loves me and misses me. Oh, I love him. He was really excited to see me today. He did? What did he do? So he came out and he waited for me to kiss him. And then when I walked by him, he like leaned in for the kiss. Oh, he's yeah. the cutest. Look, look, look. Just let me sniff him. Mm, yeah, that's you. why he's the best on, one. Do you want to come home with Auntie Jenna? No, you're going to be cold. I don't even have a cage for you. What do we do about that, huh? Mm -hmm. Ugh, I love him. Mm -hmm. My favorite. The evil eye. Oh! Look at the evil eye. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got me breathing. Got me touch. That don't impress me much. Oh, he's like, no. He's like, Jenna's singing to me. Leave me alone. Try to pick him up. You want to get squished? Go for it. Oh, he's just cute. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, he likes you. Step up. Oh, you get him. He likes you. Vinny's looking at you. I don't think you should come out. If you come out, you should run. But <laughs> he said, yeah. Well, let me turn a light on. Oh, let me turn a light on in case just so we could see the severity of, uh, he's getting ready. Jersey wants to see. Okay. Jersey's trying to see you. Okay. I dare you to come out. No, you gotta run. Run now. Oh, he's, he's not doing anything. He's sharpening his beak though. He's like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. He's sharpening his beak, I'm not kidding you. He's like, yeah, try to get past the door. He's like, you're not leaving. Yeah, look at him. Hi, bye baby. No, I'm scared. I think I have to move him before. But still, it was more fun when he was chasing. <laughs> So you chase. Oh. Vinny, let's move you, okay? From let's remove you from this situation. You know what he does to George? George has to jump and then he hides in his closet and Vinny's outside the closet door <laughs> laughing. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't cry, it's okay. It's all right, she'll be back. She's coming back tomorrow. She's coming back tomorrow, it's okay! Yay, she's coming back tomorrow! You're very naughty though. Look at my sister helping me nail out some shirts. You guys better be excited. I almost sent a strand of my hair. <laughs> but Jenna caught it just in time. She's like, do you want to send them your DNA? <laughs> Please accept this strand as a token of our future together. I don't care about that. I'm just scared of some voodoo type stuff.